video we're doing continuity and k problems part two and this is dealing with the two-sided limit equaling the value at the point so that part of proving continuity that is part three so here we have a piecewise function and the question is find k so that f of x is continuous at x equals three well so let's take a look we have the top function says not equal to 3, so that's the part where we're going to do the two-sided limit. The bottom function says equal to 3, so that's the value at the point. So as we set this problem up, we're going to do the limit as x approaches 3, the two-sided limit of x squared plus 2x is equal to the value at the point, the y value, which is 2k plus 1. On the left side, the first thing we always try with limits is plugging in. So if we plug in, we get 9 plus 6 is equal to 2k plus 1. So 15 is 2k plus 1. 2k would be 14, and k would be 7. That means if I plug in a 7 into the problem, the two-sided limit would equal the value at the point. <laughs> Let's try another one. Again, find k so that f of x is continuous, this time at x equals 0. Again, we have not equal to 0, that's the two-sided limit. And the equal to 0 is the value at the point. So we take the limit as x approaches zero, two-sided limit, three tan two x over four sine three x is equal to the value at the point, which is two k minus one. Well, we've done this problem several times now, and we know that there's a shortcut. The shortcut is if we multiply the three times the two, we're going to get a six on top. If we multiply the four times the three, we're going to get a 12 on the bottom. Now this works with sines and tangents as we're approaching zero. So I have six twelfths is equal to two k minus one. Well, that's really one half is equal to 2k minus 1. Now, some of you really don't like fractions. Well, if you really, really, really don't like fractions, go ahead and kill it off. Just multiply both sides by a 2. If you're really that bad at it, then we get 1 is 4k minus 2, 4k is 3, k is 3 fourths. Just get rid of the fractions if you don't like them. One more time. So in example three, we find k so that f of x is continuous at x is negative five this time. Again, two-sided limits got to equal the value at the point. So we've got the limit as x approaches negative five of x plus five over x squared minus 25 is equal to the value at the point, which is 2k plus x. Now we're plugging in a negative 5. So on the left side, if we were to plug in a negative 5, we would get 0 over 0. Well, we know that that's a L'Hopital situation, so we can go ahead and do the limit as x approaches negative 5, and we can take the derivative of the top, which is 1, the bottom, which is 2x, equal to 2k plus x. Well, now if we plug in our negative 5, we get negative 1 tenth is equal to 2k minus 5, because again, we're plugging in a negative 5 for all x values. Well, again, if you really don't like fractions, go ahead and kill off the fraction by multiplying the 10 to the other side. You get negative 1 is equal to 20k minus 50. So 20k is equal to 49, and k is 49 over 20.